Welcome to our channel. Um, so <laughs> I'm super excited about today is today's Bible study lesson. Um, but before I get into that, I just want to make a quick disclaimer. There will be some videos where you see me and Mike and there will be some videos where it's just going to be me, just going to be Mike. Um, a lot of that is because we both have certain topics that is put on our heart and we would like to talk about it. And then there's also some topics that it will be really good to have a male and a woman's perspective on it that we're going to come together and you know talk about it. But um, yeah, so I'm just going to go right into it. Um, so I will be reading from James 1, 1 through 8. Now, I am not the best out loud reader and I am reading from the NIV version. But okay, so I'm actually going to start at verse 2. Um, so consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, where whenever you are faced with trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance, let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking of anything. If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God who gives it generously to all who is finding fault and it will be given to you. But when you ask, you must believe and not doubt because the one who doubts is like a wave of the wave of the sea blown and tossed by the wind that the person should not expect to receive anything from the Lord. Such a person is a double minded and unstable is double minded and unstable in all that they do. Um, so I don't really have a title for this. Um, I'll probably have one by the time this video is up, <laughs> but um, yeah, so I just kind of want to talk about that verse. I'm going to break it down a little bit. Um, so for one, in verses two through three, it says, Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you're faced with trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. So um, I was just thinking about how oftentimes, like in our lives, in my life especially, it's not until something bad happens that tests your faith that you actually get up into something. Um, for instance, let's say you're having tr car troubles and you're just like neglecting your car, just letting things roll by. You see the check engine light on and you're like, I got another two, three paychecks. Like, I'm just going to wait. And then next minute, you know, you have a flat tire or your car breaks down on the side of the road. Well, then you're like, oh my gosh, like I knew I should have taken care of that ahead of time. So guess what? For future reference, you then say, you know what? I am going to make sure I get my oil check regularly, you know, check my fluids, do everything that I need to do because I knew the inconvenience and I knew the mood or whatever that situation had made me in before. So I'm going to try to do better next time, you know, um, even in issues with your relationships or your family it's not until you realize that things have gotten out of hand that you say, you know what, like things is really tough right now. We need to be more intentional as a family to get together more, or we need to be more intentional as friends, you know, to communicate better. You know, it's so important that we realize that a lot of the things that are happening in our life is for motivation and for perseverance so that we can make things better. Um, it's not your fault that, you know, you're having a bad week and everything seems to be falling apart. What it really is, is that one, you're being irresponsible and God is trying to show you and mold you and make you so that you can be a more responsible individual. So he's allowing these things to happen in your life so that you can say, you know what? I need to take charge and I need to be motivated to do what I need to be doing. In verse four, it says, let perseverance finish its work so that let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete and not lacking anything so one of the things that I had to work on internally in myself and I had to do that through God showing me is that there's so many times that I've missed out and my husband says this to me all the time that I miss out on my blessing or I miss out on, 
you know what God's trying to do in my life because I get so caught up in what the situation is and I don't see it for what God's trying to teach me and I don't allow the work that he's trying to have finished in my life be finished because I am my own stumbling block um for instance if I'm just like overwhelmed because I feel like I just cannot get like my life together that week and I'm just like man I just can't get nothing done you know I'm just like so all over the place you know I, I'm like trying to clean this room and then I'm halfway cleaning it. I realize I forgot to do something else so I go leave the house and I come back and I'm like oh the house isn't clean and just whatever the situation might be you know I'm just like beating myself up beating myself up beating myself up and I realized that God's like you need to practice time management you need to you know be more intentional about all um, about sticking to your schedule you know whatever the situation may be I don't allow myself to receive what God is trying to teach me in that moment and the work isn't finished I'm not maturing I'm not growing because I'm too busy complaining and trying to say this is my life and why is my life act is like this you know in all reality it's just a life lesson if any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God who gives it generously. Without finding any fault, it will be given to you. And um, one of the things I love the most about that is because I, I think people kind of under... What's the word? Like, they underestimate wisdom. You know, they're like, yeah, you know, wisdom, like, yeah, that would be nice. Like, or, yeah wisdom you're wise you're smart whatever like one thing that I realized and I, I've had to change my prayers when it comes to situations is for asking God to give me wisdom in that situation for instance if you feel like you are struggling financially rather than asking God for a financial blessing I've started asking God for financial wisdom you know so I can have money making ideas or so that I can learn how to like have wisdom to say you know what if you really don't need it maybe you shouldn't be getting it you know um even wisdom like in my relationships with friends or in my marriage you know I'm like God give rather than asking God can you fix this situation or fix that person Lord give me wisdom on how to deal with this person or give me wisdom on how to handle that situation and with that people will start telling you like you handled that pretty well or you always seem to you know make a good decision you know or whatever it might be it's not me it's because i've asked god to give me that wisdom to deal with and handle that situation um so one thing i love about it is he said that if you ask him for wisdom that he will give it to you you know so I think that it's time for a lot of us to shift our prayers you know shift it say God I need wisdom in the workplace you know I need wisdom in my church I need wisdom on being a better parent you know whatever it is you're going through you know wisdom in my school you know it's it's never it never hurts to ask God um, for wisdom it says that he would give it to you it says, but when you ask, you must believe and not doubt because the one who doubts is like a wave. The sea is blown and tossed in the wind and that person should not expect to receive anything. Such a person is a double is double minded and unstable in all that they do. Um, the one thing that I can admit was I was that person tossed in the wind, double minded unstable you know and I think a lot of people can relate to that as well um I wrote here in my notes is that if you feel like you are lacking ask God but the trick is you must 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 believe I think it's one thing to say that I believe that God will bless my finances or I believe that God will you know provide me with a better job opportunity or I believe that God will make a way you know in my family and help me you know with my family and my family will be in church but it's another thing to truly 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 believe with every part of you you know um I know personally that was something that I really you know struggled with because it was like 
even though I believe that God can do it, I also was like, just like he was almost like a plan B. It was, this was my plan. This is how, how I'm going to approach the situation. This is how I'm going to handle it. But if it doesn't come through, I know that I also have God to fall back on you know and that's not believing in God believing in God is when you say you know what I 100% believe that this situation is taken care of and I'm gonna freely go about my life because how I was talking about like you're in the sea and like you're you know tossing and turning and you're double-minded and unstable it's like you can't make a decision because you're indecisive for instance um like let's say you're trying to buy a home okay and you're trusting and you're saying god i believe that i'm going to get a home or get this new apartment you know and i believe that you know this is going to happen for me and one minute you're like you know maybe i shouldn't just get an apartment you know maybe i should just stay you know live with so and so and then the next week you're like oh you know what i don't know if i should live with them maybe i should you know just try to see if i can get some kind of government housing or next me like you know what i'm gonna buy a house you know i'm gonna save up money and i'm gonna buy a house you're double-minded and you're unstable because you've said god i believe and i trust that you're going to do something but if you believe and you trust then that means you believe he's going to open doors and make ways and that when whatever you ask it shall happen he says that you know what you don't have to worry about your financial situation that you don't have to worry about you know what's going to happen tomorrow where your food's going to come from when you really really trust and believe that he's going to take care of you and he's going to guide your steps like there's a peace that comes about it and a part of that is really making God your plan A and not your plan B you know and you changing your mindset to say you know what rather than me constantly figuring out X Y and Z that you know what God like I'm just gonna give it to you and the hardest thing for people like me is like we have low-key control issues and like everybody's different like I'm the person who I'm pretty laid back like if you want to take the initiative and do something like I'm all for it but at the same time when it comes if it plays a huge factor into my life like it's so hard for me to like relinquish that control and take a step back because I'm just like you know this is my feelings if that's you know coming and into play or you know like I don't like the unknown I was that kid who will get in the car and first thing I'll ask is um so where are we going and my mother would never tell me like we literally can be going to Publix and like she just she wouldn't say oh we're going to the grocery store it was just like you'll see when we get there and oh my gosh like that bothered me so bad you know and so for people like me it's so difficult for us to just take a step back and say you know god i give you complete control in my life or in this situation or what's gonna happen you know but in all reality we have to submit ourselves to christ and we have to relinquish and yield ourselves to his will you know because if we want his perfect will done in our life and we want his perfect plan in our life um, then we have to just say you know what God I trust you I trust your ways I trust whatever you have in plan and whatever your purpose for me I 100% trust you um, so yeah I think that is it it's definitely so much more in this scripture and in this chapter um, that you know I can go more and more and more in depth of but I just wanted to do a little sim and uplifting devotional to kind of help you guys through this week you know so yeah stay encouraged and I will see you guys next time <laughs>